Um, Dope, dude. We'll just get this thing rocking and rolling. Uh, hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for joining the video. We got a cool, cool, cool video today. Uh, a few months back, I posted a challenge and an uh, opportunity for somebody to get eight weeks of free personal training, uh, eight weeks of free meal prep from Busy Body Meals, and then eight free weeks of supplements from Supplement Superstores. And in the process of throwing that out there on social media, we had over 380 people entered in for this challenge, which was super, super awesome. People, you know, shared their story on why they wanted to win, what would, you know, it do to them in their, in their fitness journey. And uh, I'm sitting right next to the man, Jake, who actually won the eight weeks, but went through the eight weeks and actually kicked ass. So, Jake, welcome to, uh, I don't even know if you want to call this a podcast or a YouTube video or whatever we're doing with this, but welcome, brother. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. Uh, that's the thing. You and I, we got in here in these eight weeks and just had conversations day after day and uh, focused on the fitness and then uh, obviously built a, the friendship as well. So it's been a complete, you know, change in my life in many ways, and we'll get into that, but uh, all the way from the friendship to the, you know, just the, the the lifestyle change that I've experienced. It's been incredible. So yeah, dude, it's been awesome. It's been, it's been really fun. And I think the coolest thing about it was, you know, where you started and how far you've came. And I think oftentimes when you get started in, in not fitness journey, but just in things in life, whether it's a career and you just had a huge career change and like, you don't see the day-to-day -day changes, but then you look back and you sit here and reflect on the changes you've made the past eight weeks. And you're like, holy shit, dude, like I feel totally different. I look totally different. My mindset's totally different. So that's kind of what I would walk through today in this video of kind of breaking down like one, what you learn, what you accomplish, a breakthrough moments. We're just going to kind of get into it. Uh, but I want you to go into, you know, before the eight weeks, right? You were kind of at a, I don't want to say all time low, but you just didn't feel your best, like mentally, physically. So where were you at when you signed up for the eight weeks for an opportunity to win? And what led you to that point of like how you felt then? Yeah, I think for me, like I've always looked at myself as a high performer through whether it was through careers or through entrepreneurship or through, uh, you know, back when I played sports, things like that. I always seemed to, you know, never was the best, but I always seemed to ex excel in it. And, um, you know, once I started my career and getting into that, my focus of fitness and just health just went away for in years, probably since 2017 was the last time I actually spent time in the gym and um, was, you know, ever even caring about you know, getting stronger or just getting fit in general. And uh, before that, I mean, you know, before I started with you, it was just, you know, I was eating terrible. I didn't have any routine of, um, you know, even just going on walks. And, you know, we'll talk about the power of just walking, but, uh, and how that's changed my life. But I wasn't doing any of that, you know, so. I went from having, you know, doing nothing to, you know, jump right into this. And I don't want to use the term cold turkey, but I went from doing what I've been doing since 2017, every single day, you know, no question about it, to changing everything mm -hmm. all at once. And then it's so, it's so crazy to me how in eight weeks, my life changed so much versus spending all the way back to, from 2017, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, to answer your question, it was, I was just lazy and wasn't focused on it whatsoever. But what, what, what drew you to, because I mean, that's a big opportunity to hand. Like, I feel like having the burden of, oh wow, they're gonna sponsor me. They're gonna give me eight weeks of free everything. I mean, the package, like that's a lot of money and investment from our end. So like the burden of responsibility on your end, like that's a lot. So what drew you to like, you know what? I'm gonna fill this application. I don't know if I'm gonna win or not, but I'm gonna fill this thing out. And if I, if I get chosen, I'm gonna go on like, what like, was there something that happened in your life? Was it, did you, were you just that kind of, like, kind of walk me through like what led you to feel, cause there's a lot of people that talk about, oh, that'd be awesome, mm -hmm. but they don't commit to even filling out the application. So right. what made you like, hey, I'm gonna fill this application out? Yeah, I remember I was in the passenger seat when I saw your Instagram story pop up about it. And I remember mentioning it to Christina, like I'm gonna fill this out. I'm gonna try to win this thing. Um, you thought yeah. you were gonna win too. Yeah, I did. I was like, just cause when I saw it, I was like, this is, this is perfect timing. I'm, I'm ready to take that leap. Cause I believe you have to have, you have to get to the point mentally where you're willing to, if you see an opportunity to actually jump on it, you know, you can see an opportunity plenty of times and there's times in your life, you're just not ready for it. Or you're not willing to do it. So whenever I saw that opportunity come, I was like, Oh, this is, this is time I'm going to jump all over this. And I think for me, I recognize the, you know, investment from you and busybody meals uh, with what it was. So I was like, whenever I did my submission, I really put that into um, you know, 
put that into perspective of like, okay, I'm going to fill this out completely honestly, what I want to accomplish. And then also look at it as these guys are investing a ton of time, ton of money. You know, what can I do to make sure that not a dollar of that goes to waste? So I think that was what kind of made it all work out. Yeah. I mean, and you've definitely adopted the lifestyle. That's the, that's the coolest thing, but just like the preface is what, what we did with the challenge. Cause some of you guys might be listening. Like, what are you guys talking about? What? So we, came up with the idea of, hey, how do we give back to the community? Because we started, or I started this business back in July. And, you know, it's been awesome through the community helping me grow this and be able to help other people. I was like, I need to give back in some way, shape, or form. Uh, so a good buddy of mine and his wife, uh, they own a meal prep company here locally called Busy Body Meals. And we brainstormed back and forth, like, how can we truly, like, help somebody? Because when you think about getting started in your fitness journey, What's the two most common excuses? It's time and money, right? Oh, I don't have t- enough time because X, Y, Z, I'm a kid. Or I don't have enough money to eat healthy or have a personal trainer. Okay, well, we eliminated those two excuses right off the bat. Mm-hmm. Like, and that's where the burden of responsibility comes from because you can't make any other excuse because you're getting free personal training. You're getting free guidance and accountability. You're getting meals literally delivered to your house or cooked, tailored to you and your goals. So we took all that out. So... Uh, and then supplements too. I forgot to bring we, we free supplements as well. So we took all that out. Um, that's what the eight weeks consisted of. Now, in the process of the eight weeks of you, you know, starting off, and I remember the first day we met, we had that mobility assessment, and like your your body was super tight. You couldn't stretch well. You were dripping in sweat. Like it was a hard, hard. Uh, I don't even call it a workout, but it was a workout for you. Is all we were doing was stretching. Um, that day, that first day. When you left there, were you like, holy shit, like, I'm like, I'm like, this is a lot of shit. Like, how would you feel leaving that first session compared to when you, like, were showing up to that session? No, I, um, one, I was nervous to start, not because of, you know, working out, but I, I, again, I wanted to make sure those 380 people that, you know, wanted to win this, I wanted to make sure, okay, I got picked. Let me make sure that I make the absolute most of it and didn't waste anyone else's opportunity. So, you know, showing up to that, I was nervous. But I was fully aware of, you know, where I was at Shea. I knew I was going to, it was going to be difficult. I knew it was going to uh, almost be embarrassing to where I was, you know. So, uh, but leaving that, I was like, oh, okay, it's real. You know, yeah. so uh, after I left there, I remember kind of like, okay, it's, everything's changing right now. Yeah. And uh, it's time for me to really lock in and that's what happened. So, so yeah, that was, uh, it was definitely was a wake up call though. Yeah. And there's no question about it. I knew it was going to be hard, but. You know, we started out so simple. Yeah, I mean, just basics one on one, and it still was uh, a lot for me. Yeah. Just because I have it picked up, and I like you know this. I was an athlete in high school. I had some injuries that you know kind of uh, made me go a different direction. But I was always an athlete. Yeah, you know, playing basketball, playing baseball in high school, things. So it was kind of like a, oh shit moment whenever I show up to do mobility and I'm dripping sweat. Yeah. So and yeah, yeah. I think that times like that the humbling events in your life, like feed to like, okay, like I'm, I'm going to commit like, like, cause you have to reach like an all time low. And I want to talk about your mindset because that's a big thing. A lot of people don't talk about and then it will kind of segue into the results and how we got the results or how you got the results or hard work. But I want to talk about the mindset because in the process of when you started, you were going through a massive change of life. You were working a job, crushing it. And you, you, you took the jump into a new career and there's a lot of like stress and weight on your shoulders, and you know you bet you and I both battle with anxiety and stuff like that. Talk to them about like how you know eating better foods, moving your body. Like, what has that done for you, not just physically but mentally? Yeah, I think for me, I'm a guy who just cannot shut my mind off at all, no matter what time of the day it is. I'm just constantly running. Um, you know, I'm a big talker, so I'm always talking to people. Always got conversations running through my head. I'm always second guessing conversations that I just had, making sure that you know, what I said to that person was right. And I, you know, I came across in the, the best way possible. And I'm always worried about things I shouldn't be worried about. Mm-hmm. And for me, you know, once I started changing my diet and um, doing the 45 minute walks every day and then getting in the gym with you and um, drinking just more water, uh, I just noticed that I was able to control my thoughts more. Yeah. You know, it was because I had something more challenging going on with right. fitness and changing my whole life on that side. So the main focus on that and now I look at it, it's like, okay, I put my focus in on my fitness and my health. 
Well, that's just going to naturally fix everything else. Not everything, but it's going to help, um, you know, lead you in a better direction where you were compared to, I feel like I was just waking up every day, hoping just, I was just taking life every day. I'd wake up and it's like, okay, I hope it's going to be a good day. You know, I wasn't taking the action to really put myself in the best position every day. Yeah. That's so beautiful because you're, you're in the driver's seat now. And it's not like passenger, like you're driving, you're in control. And I think there's so much power in controlling the things you can control. You can control how much water you drink. You can control what you put in your mouth. You control how much you move your body. And when you spend time, diligent effort into controlling those things, that's where it leads to, okay, now I'm feeling a little more confident. Okay, well, when you're more confident, are you better or worse at work? You're better. Are you a better fiance or worse fiance? You're better and all these things. And I think people get so wrapped up in a physical result, which don't get me wrong, like it's awesome looking good and feeling good with your shirt off. But also like, what's up here? This is one of the most valuable things you work on, dude. So it, it's super cool to see that change. Now, as far as the, the, the tasks that you had to do, right? Looking at it, very basic, very simple. Had you walk, had you eat better food, more protein, drink more water, and you came and worked out twice a week, right? Out of those things, what do you think was the most powerful uh, things to you and your results that you had in eight weeks? Well, we, you know, I've talked about it and for me, and it's something I've just, I don't think I'll ever stop is the, the day or the walking, mm -hmm. you know, the, you know, we were doing 45 to an hour every day. And that is where I felt like, you know, even when I first started, um, as stupid as it sounds, cause we're just walking, you know, after a week from the first week, my knees were a little sore, Yeah, you know, towards the eight weeks, I mean, I was ready to start running. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, and then that's the time where I'm able to you know, if I'm li listening to any books or listen to a podcast. So I feel like I'm just getting those extra benefits of it all and organizing my thoughts and just kind of having more of a game plan. Yeah. And that's allowed me to kind of structure my life better. Yeah. Corny as that sounds just walking, but the walking has put structure in my life. The, the, you know, coming to your gym and working out twice a week is, um, obviously being great because it's building muscle and I'm learning more about just fitness in general. Um, but I, I think the true power was in the walks and, of course, the meals. It's just yeah. going for meat, Taco Bell, and yeah. Arby's and all that stuff. Say, take me through, because I know we've, we've had this conversation before. Yeah. Like, you were a typical day of eating, and, like, no shame behind. Yeah, it was what you did. Like, right. what was your typical day of eating? Look, what did it look like before you started? Yeah, and I mean, I would either hit, you know, like a Hardy's breakfast sandwich in the morning. and Well, well what kind of breakfast sandwich, though? Oh, what was it? It was the... The loaded, loaded on biscuit. And that's what it was. Yeah. So I think it's so good, man. <laughs> loaded on the biscuit. Yeah. So I, I started there and, uh, and then, uh, lunch, you know, let's throw over the Taco Bell, get something cheap. And then dinner time. Don't, don't rush over Taco Bell. What did you get there? Um, big chicken quesadilla. Now there's always been the chicken quesadilla. I stay true to it. Uh, and probably threw in a few more things in there for us, but send a twist. Uh, you are terrible. What? Cardboard twist. See me? Could do. They're fire. Yeah. I've never been never like a doctor to an airman. I've never been a fan of the but uh, you know, then dinner I always came around to whether it was eating Chipotle or Chick fil A or it was just yeah. fast food junk all the time. And um, even on that aspect, you think I just got my mind open to like say Chick fil A. Everyone kinda looks at Chick fil A as just a cleaner option. Yeah. And then I was like, Let me go look at what I used to get there. And I broke it down. I'm making these numbers up, but what I used to get there was pretty simple. It was a spicy chicken sandwich. Add pepper jack cheese, large fry, and a large drink, and it was, um, you know, 2,500 calories. Yeah. And who knows how much sugar and everything else. Um, but that just opened my mind because then I'm obviously with busybodies, I'm able to see the macros, and it's like, whoa. Yeah, and not to, get, not to get macros, too, because a lot of people, when you're right, like those foods do have more, they're more calorie dense, they're not as much nutrients in them. But not even that, it's whole foods compared to processed foods and how you feel. And I always tell people, it's like, if you want to fix something, like if you're feeling like shit or low energy or have a lot of anxiety, watch what you eat. Mm -hmm. You eat all pro or whole foods compared to you eat processed foods. I can almost promise you, you're going to feel better. You're going to have more energy. You're going to sleep better. Your anxiety is going to be better. You're going to come. There's so many benefits to just eating food that doesn't have a bunch of bullshit. And you're not, I'm not feeling hungry after I eat a 400 calorie meal from Busybody. Yeah, I'm not feeling hungry after, and I'm six, five, six, six. Yeah. You know, I'm a big dude. So, uh, that was always an issue for me was I'd go to these place with all the processed foods and I'd 
eat and then I'd feel hungry in four hours and I'd eat again or one not so yeah it was just a a path to just never stop and became a habit mm -hmm. and I never really thought anything of it and this just opened my mind up yeah and something you said the other day that stuck to me and I don't even know if you remember saying this but you said you and uh your fiance went out to eat and the it was like a chipotle it was that new place you went to and you said I felt like so much just felt like shit after eating it you felt it Back eight weeks ago, your body was so accustomed to that shit, you didn't notice a difference from what good felt like and what bad felt like. And so many people accept, like, eating junk food, processed food. Oh, this is my normal. That's not your fucking normal. Like, then you went from clean eating, busybody meals, then you went, went out, enjoyed a meal, you felt lethargic, you felt bloated. Mm -hmm. now, a lot of people don't understand that there is a big difference between the two. It's crazy. Yeah, but they, that place, Bubba Cooperitos. Yeah, shout out to Bubba. Man. I haven't been there, man. It's, man, that place. I've been following them on TikTok. They've, they're like in New Jersey or something. I've been following them on TikTok, yeah. and I saw them pop up in Glen Carver, and I'm like, oh, this is crazy. crazy. It meant to happen. So, so, you said it's like Chipotle in Qdoba? Yeah, it's but better. better. Uh, Meat's better. They actually cook the, they cook the meat fresh. It's all better. Yeah, yeah. okay. So, if oh, you're a burrito, Bubba Smart. Yeah. <laughs> plug, plug them up. Give a discount code. Uh, Okay, so I want to talk. This might be the humbling, most humbling part of the podcast. Uh, some breakthrough moments, right? I know one definitely definitely <laughs> breakthrough moment well for me. It's, it was a first, um, but kind of talking about some things as it in the weeks you broke through, and maybe some challenges or obstacles, or maybe some things you doubted yourself with. Yeah, I mean, we'll start with the main one, but uh, a little backstory. I mean. That was, what was that, week two or week three? That was week, that was week two. Well, so, yeah, week two, because, yeah. yeah. So, for me, I think, just leading into it, where, well, you know, what happened was, I like I said, I, cold turkey was eating all this fast food every day, and then I switched to busy body and wasn't eating as much and wasn't used to, you know, just this diet change. Yeah. And then you and I had a workout at, like, 8 a.m. on a Saturday, I believe, and I showed up and didn't eat anything before, and, uh, for like 20 minutes into the workout and I'm like I'm starting to feel busy man he's like yeah take a seat where I'm sitting there I'm like this can't be happening right now you know my eyes are starting to get a little little loopy and I'm like, come on second week here and next thing you know I'm out well <laughs> let me back up yeah, please. so we're, we're doing bids over rows okay so we're bending over rowing and first set he's like man that was that was, that was challenging and my heart rate up I was like cool man like let's take a long rest period no no shame like is a harder movement. You're losing, using big muscle, your back. So we rest like two and a half, three minutes. And we did the second set and he crushed it. And I could tell like, you know, me being a trainer, I'm always looking at body language, looking at your face. Like that's how I can gauge somebody's effort. I was like, all right, he, homeboy's not good. And he's like, yeah, my heart rate's high. I was like, cool. Have a seat over on this bitch right here. Then I was asking questions, running through, did you drink any water today? Did you eat? He's like, no, I didn't eat. I'm like, cool. Blood sugar's probably fucking tanking. I was like, you stay right there. I'm going to run inside. I'm going to go grab some food. So I'm in there. Maddie's in the kitchen. She's like, what in the fuck are you doing? I'm like, he's not feeling good. I need to get rice cake. I'll get rice cake, slap some honey on there. And I bring it out here. And he's like, he's like head, like the difference of a minute of you, like you were sitting there kind of like this. I come out and you're like slumped. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, this dude needs to eat. I'm like, you need, you need to eat this, Jake. And he takes one bite. And next thing you know, he's like, <laughs> and he's out cold. Me being me, I'm freaking out. This is the first time this has ever happened to me, and this will be the last month. This it will never happen again. First time this ever happened to me, somebody actually blacked out, passed out. Left in my wife's a nurse. And I'm yelling, Maddie, 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 get out of here. She opens the door. I'm like, he's passed out. I don't know what's going on. And at this point, I'm just freaking out. Like, I don't know. I didn't even think to check your pulse. I'm just freaking out, panicking. And Maddie comes out and you're so calm, you know, because she's a ER nurse, just, okay, he's breathing. I'm like, okay, well, why is he sleeping? <laughs> and he wakes up, you're probably out for like 30 seconds, and you come up and you're like looking around like this, and I'm like, oh my gosh, he's alive, thank you. <laughs> and we're talking to him, Jake, you all right? You all right? You're looking around and you're like, I can't hear, take, take the earbuds out of my ear. I look at Maddie, I'm like, There's one, he doesn't have earbuds in his ear, what is going on? Uh, so you blacked out, dude. Yeah. Yeah, that coming, when I woke up, that was a, that was an experience, man. And then, obviously waking up, and then, that was my first time meeting Maddie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's the first time I met her, so, uh, that was a great inter inter introduction, but, uh, yeah, it was weird. I woke up as you're playing, I almost, it's like ASAP Rock. It was ASAP Rock. I remember it, yeah. 
And I wake up and it was like, I felt like I had earbuds in. And I'm like looking at you guys, these things out of my ears, dude, you know? <laughs> and uh, then I start realizing it's like, okay, nothing's in my ear. And then Maddie was so calm. And that's what made me realize that. I mean, I'm all right. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, she was laughing. Like, yeah. yeah, she was laughing. Like, thank you. I need this too, bad. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I was looking at you, and you were you were sweating a little bit. So, uh, and you're holding me up the whole time. Well, me that's all. That, that was a little thing, dude. <laughs> at the point, you were probably 275, 280 pounds. Two eighty. You were up on a bench. I was like, I can't move you. Like, I'm strong, but I'm not that strong. And you were sitting off from the side. I didn't know like the posi- positioning and all of it. So, uh, that was a very, very humbling moment for you. And that was a big overcoming because I think in your head, like you started getting your head, even the next time you came back here, you were still like, is this going to happen again? And you're almost like waiting for it. They're like, not that you're thinking it's going to happen, but it's in the back of your head, you're, you're waiting for it. So that was a big overcoming. Did you have any other uh, breakthroughs or maybe doubts or was it pretty fluid for the day weeks? It was pretty fluid, honestly. It was, um, I mean, I had some days where um, after I left, my body was so sore just because I haven't worked those muscles and so many years it was just more or less like realization of like okay i haven't done this in a really long time even though i'm 25 i believe i should be able to do all this yeah but you told me right when it started it's like realize that you're not going to be able to do what you did you know before you know, when you're 18 19 yeah 20 years old even um so I, I i really took that and when i would leave and feel like i should be doing a lot more but that happened a lot you know you know we're slinging weights and 25s and I said, man i should be doing fifties, you know, uh, just cause I'm a bigger dude. And that's what I was doing back when I was an athlete. Uh, but I uh, remembered that just to understand that I got to work my way back up. And, you know, as you know, I mean, we've continued to build, build, but build. So, um, so now I've just understood that this, for me, this has been such an eye opener because you hear all over social media, just the trust the process, trust the process. I think this is the first time in my life where I've actually took something from, you know, a to uh, ground zero and yeah just ground zero and um really just trusting the process like i didn't say anything to you i was just like you tell me what to do i'm gonna yeah. do it yeah and um that's what's been so great for me is just understanding like if you just want to do something just trust that process yeah and i've made more momentum i've had more more momentum over these past eight weeks than i have in years yeah and we haven't even done anything we're just scratching surface. yeah beautiful thing and now you know, you're working with me for the next six months, and we were like already setting goals of like, okay, now we're gonna start running. We're getting this barbell squat at the for your first time. So it's so cool the the involvement of just of just you, not even in the gym, but like I could just see your mindset, how you carry yourself, and how like there's so many things that I see that's super fucking awesome. And and I just want to say I'm super proud of you for like committing because it's not easy. Um, one, it's not easy to fill out the form and be super like open and honest of where you are, but two actually showing up and putting the work in. So the past eight weeks, you were able to lose around 30 pounds or so, um, which is incredible. But I don't think that goes to show which is how much this change mentally and physically. The photos look totally different. Um, mentally, totally different. Um, so I guess, you know, we'll wrap this thing up. For you, like your final words on just, I guess maybe the eight-week challenge of maybe somebody, because we are going to do more eight-week challenges because we saw how beneficial it is for you. Um, so maybe somebody watching this that is thinking about doing an eight-week challenge um, through Wolfpack Performance um, or just maybe getting started in their fitness journey or reaching out to a personal trainer, like what are some things that you recommend uh, for them to do? So for me, you know, you and I have this conversation and I've come to the realization it's just who I am and what I, you know, strive in is understanding that, I do my best when I have a coach. Mm-hmm. Um, having that accountability and the person to, you know, you set a time, say two o'clock on Thursday. So there's no other option. Yeah. I, mean, I can't cancel. You know, you've already cleared your schedule. Um, you know, that's number one. But for, you know, if I was to go back through and talk to people who are going to like sign up for this eight week challenge, is first understand the investment that's being made from Wolfpack and if it's busy body meals again, understanding that investment because I've seen whenever I was meeting with you, uh, during those free eight weeks, you had a full schedule. Yeah. And you're, you know, fitting me in within an hour. Um, so understanding that, which also just leads to better performance and better commitment because you're understanding what someone else is doing for you. So I want to make sure I'm doing it back to them. Yeah. You know, you give, you get. Um, so that was my mindset from the get go. And I believe that was one of the reasons why I was chosen because I was pretty vocal about that. Of I understand the investment and I want to make sure out of these 308 people, 
you know, I don't want to let them down either. Right. So understanding all of that has allowed me to, you know, be successful in these eight weeks. And, um, it's so exciting because after the eight weeks, you know, down 30 pounds, I don't even feel like I, I legitimately just feel like I just got started. Yeah. Like I was like, I just got blessed with the best, um, Kickstarter, mm -hmm. but now the foundation's been set. I can't even imagine what six months, but let alone in two years, what it's going to be. Yeah. So if, it, you know, if people are filling this form out, fill that thing out with all your effort and to intent with a tent. Don't, yeah. yeah. Don't waste your time and our time because there's a lot of people that just put few sentence answers. Like you have to understand, like the amount I haven't really even added up, but it's probably well over 2,500 hours invested in the individual. So we're going to pick somebody that's puts proper intent into right. their submission. So I'm glad you hit on that. Anything else that you would, you mentioned or. Yeah, I, I would just say, you know, the other part of, you know, looking at these eight weeks is you know, working with Jake has been so great because, you know, this is just to pat you on the back is how welcoming he is into you know, his family and um, his process of how thorough he is about it. Um, that's a difficult part when, you know, you're going through trying to decide who you're wanting to work with, invest money in working with. Uh, just know that, you know, Jake's got something great going on over here and um, he, you know, you have so much pride in what you do it and shows and that's why it makes it easier for me too because i know how much you want me to succeed makes me want to succeed so i appreciate that yeah that's truly really, you started a, a crazy time dude as we were migrating for our previous gym where we were renting space out to our own space it was you saw it all dude in our fold you saw the gym build up and everything and uh it's been cool dude it's been an honor and uh, like you said in the beginning it's awesome because not only have you kicked ass we there's a friendship that's been built and yeah you know, we were talking about business things and trying to, you know, help each other out in different areas, man. It's super, super cool. So, um, just want to say thank you. I'm super fucking proud of you for not only the results, but just the effort because effort's super contagious. You've made me better. Um, and I'm just excited to continue the next five, six months. Dude, man, I can't wait. We're off the hop back on six months. Yep. You can see what's that. You mean I got the next Z cover <laughs> six months. Uh, but yeah, dude, appreciate it. Uh, if you're still watching, look out, man, we're going to be doing another eight week free sponsoring somebody uh, here really soon, okay? As you see, this is a prime example of what truly can happen in eight weeks if you just, just trust the process and put in the work and the effort and the time, uh, your life can totally be changed. So um, be able to look out. Don't know when, but it will be coming soon. So appreciate you guys. Um, enjoy the rest.